So we're gonna get straight to some battle rap. The Black Ice Cartel card. Cheer. The age returns. Yes. Um, Shout out to go- Cartel, man. Because, yeah. First of all, I got to give Cartel their flowers because Cartel been putting on for years. Like I don't even know if a lot of people know. I know we might have a lot of new fans. Cartel is one of the ones, man. Like Cartel is like back then. I remember when I came in. You wanted to go to Cartel. Like that was one of them stages you needed to have under your belt. John Doe with the graphics, all that shit. So shout out to them. Like they I think they gave me they gave me my first intergender battle. That ass. Me versus me and Lot is eight, which is a super classic. So shout out to them for seeing the vision because that raised my stock super. So they stage is crazy. So I just wanted to get them their flowers real quick before we even get started about this crazy ass card they got. Yeah, man. Um the Black Ice Cartel card. Q, what what you th- what you what comes to mind when you hear the league Black Ice Cartel? Um, the the effects he be putting on them videos, man. Them shit, that should be that should be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and um, he just be he be having some fire battles and um, what's them battles he had in the cages? Them them shits was fire too. So. Yeah, black guys, they been putting on. I bet I bet I been fucking with that league. Yeah, so the event is goes down this Sunday. Uh it's gonna be available on Rap Grid. Ruin Your Day will be shooting that event. You know, I, I'm I'm a huge fan of Avocado Ruin Your Day when they Absolutely. Yeah, you when know, they do put, excellent work. Yeah, when they um when they um put things together, man, the event comes out really crisp and clean. <laughs> As you for the people that streamed the event also. Um, so with that being said, man, I'm gonna run down the card really quick from uh top to bottom. Main event, we got Hollow the Dawn versus A Ward. Whoa, 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 let's clarify. Let's clarify. This card is called no order because any battle on the card could be a main event. Oh, the cage, no order. Okay, yeah, so, so. Okay, so say no first or- event, I mean, uh, first battle, battle at oh, the time. From what the I event. see, okay, okay, thanks for correcting me on that. So, from what I see on the flyer, it there says, <coughs> um, Hollow the Dom versus A Ward, Vixen the Assassin versus 40 Bars, Bankhead versus Mike P, Rum Nitty versus Killer B, Fonz versus Catboy Hurt, JC versus Showstopper. Danger Zone versus C3. And Kitchen Clean versus Bud Eastwood. Um, what, what would you guys rate the car from a 1 to 10 scale? I'm going um, maybe 8.5, 9. Yeah. <laughs> Probably 9.5. Yeah. This is a this is a fucking excellent card. Like, shout out to the leads that's been putting on, man. This is an excellent card. Yeah, I give I give it like an eight. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it got some fire battles. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm I'm ready to see. You know what I'm saying? Vixen and and Forty. That's gonna be crazy. Hell yeah. Well, that's definitely I give, gonna be one of them ones. I give it an eight. Also, um, it's it's a really good card. It got you know, a female bat battle on there. You know, it got C three featured on there. Um, Hollow and A Ward. That's that's the that's the one that you know people been wanting to see. Um, yeah, I think I think it's I think it's a really good card. I got a mixture of a little bit of everything. So um, and you got to give it up for the mill too. I know everybody might not be familiar, but the names they got on there as far as Milwaukee battle rappers is fire too. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Catboy hurt. They got Killer B. They got yeah, you get Killer what I'm saying? Guys. They got his brother on there, like so. It got some. This is what I'm saying. This is a stacked card. You get what I'm saying? I guess because you know I spent time in the mill, so you know I know more of the names. This is a super stacked card, so I'm excited, man. All right. So with that being said, we're gonna go through some predictions, and I'm just gonna randomly go through uh, each battle. So we'll start it with the first battle: JC versus Showstop. Sheesh. <laughs> uh, showstop and get busy, man. This is that's what I'm saying. This is one of them Milwaukee names that I know that get crazy. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be a good one. If I have to pick a winner, I'm a, I'm, I'm probably pick JC. You get know what I'm saying? I think JC is just a little bit more seasoned, so 
He might still be able to show him his levels, but Showstopper kind of sees himself on that black ice stage and in that cage. So it could go either way. Yeah, I, th I think this is going to be a good battle because, I mean, Showstopper fire. You know what I, mean? I mean, he might not be known like JC is, but, like, it, it ain't going to be, like, no pushover battle. It's going to be a good battle between them two. But I still I got JC 2-1. Yeah, man, I got JC also. Man, I knew JC. he was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> JC has been on a roll. You know, he, yeah, you see them what he did against Bad News. You see what he did against Eunice. Um, he's he's been he he's he's he wants to be outside, man. Um, and JC has shown that you know he he is outside. Being on this card against one of the top guys from uh the Black Ice Cartel League. A showstopper. Showstopper is actually one of my favorites from that league, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough matchup. It's gonna be a match of styles because we know JC's known for his pen, and um, showstopper and very unorthodox style um, that that he's gonna be going against, and it's in the cage also. I still like JC in this one, man. I think JC will take this battle. Oh, so so these battles in the cages? Yeah, they're all in the cage. Oh, that oh, that's even that more fire like now. That shit like the octagon. That shit is fire. <laughs> yeah, that's even more fire now that I know <laughs> that. Yeah. All right, man. So let's go to the next battle, man. Kitchen clean. He is gonna show up in this battle. That no, no, no doubt about it. Because Kitchen Clean he, has never backed out on a black ice battle. Let me just put that out there. He might have backed out on other leagues, but he got cut, cut Eastwood. I gotta go with Clean in this one, man. I, just the veteran presence and and black ice is clean like home league type shit. So you know what I'm yeah. saying? It is I, I just got clean in this battle. You know what I'm saying? Cut Eastwood, he cool, but clean he just got that veteran presence and and if he show up it's gonna be a 30. yeah from the way he was talking to him in spaces <laughs> I, i'm going with clean on this one too i don't know if y'all was in the spaces what was that last night or the night before some shit like that but the way clean was talking to him clean is coming <laughs> clean is ready and we might get a clean that we ain't seen in a minute so i'm gonna go with clean on this one he was talking very heavy very very heavy in that damn spaces um, I'm going to cut Eastwood in this one. Um, I think um, Clean hasn't been winning battles, man. Clean always talks crazy, though. Cut Eastwood, he's actually been winning battles, putting on great performances. Um, I think it's a good battle for both of these. One guy that's known in Black Ice Cartel as a vet. Thank you. And then the other guy... Um, Cap, you know, uh, Cut Eastwood, he's just, um, is it Cut Eastwood? Yeah, yeah, it's Cut yeah. Eastwood. Yeah, Cut Eastwood, he's just um, hungry, man. I'm going to go, the guy that's hungry and that's really determined, I'm going with Cut Eastwood to win this battle. That's what I'm telling you, man. Clean sound pretty determined on that spaces, man, but we're going to see. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next one. We got Bankhead versus Mike P. I'm going with Bankhead 2-1 on this one. <laughs> I like Mike P, but if I'm not mistaken, I think this is his first time on Cartel. <laughs> and Bankhead is just a legend on Cartel at this point, and he know how to rock that crowd. You get what I'm saying? Mike P., I feel like he got an acquired taste. Like, you got to be a, a super real lyricist to really, listen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Like, to really, to appreciate his craft. I think Bankhead just going to welcome him to that cartel stage. But after this, though, after this, though, next time Mike P come back, he going to whoop somebody ass. But I think for this first time, he just going to have to get that, he going to get that experience from uh, Bankhead. Yeah, I, I got Bankhead barking on Mike P in, the, in that cage. You know what I'm saying? He, what? Yeah, he going, he gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, Bankhead got more, you know, energy than Mike P. Mike P, he going to be rapidy rap. You know how he do. But, like, 
<laughs> he, he ain't gonna be able to mess with um Bankhead and that black ice crowd and Bankhead know how to cater different. to them. And he, oh man. Yeah, I, I got Bankhead in this one, two one. Well, well look, look I, at Keo, he disagreed. <laughs> at least somebody gotta be objective on here. Um <laughs> The last time we seen Bankin in the cage, he got his ass whipped by Tay Rock. That was Tay Rock. No, but Bankin, yeah. but 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 Bankin. Sometimes we get an ass whipped by Tay Rock. He was sometimes. he was he was kind of average. Like he wasn't really competing in the rounds. Like Tay Rock was just smacking him around. Mike P, man, I think this guy, this guy, he. He actually got me blocked on Twitter, by the way. Um, He's not even gonna see this. This, this shows, this shows what, that I am not a hater on him, even though he got me blocked. Mike P is the type of battle rapper where he's very, he's good and successful, no matter what platform he goes on. So you hear what this is, right? He's just trying to be Mike P friend again. This is what this is. He's he's campaigning right now. King of the dot. The tr- King, hold on, King of the Dot, the trenches, uh, freaking the URL, you know, and and here now, this is gonna be his first time on there, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna have to adapt to the situation going against a fan favorite, one of the top guys from the Black Eyes Cartel League. Um, I like Mike P in this battle, though, man. I did not like what I saw from um the last battle that I seen from Bankhead. Um, I think this is going to be one of the top battles of the night, which we'll get that to later. But I'm taking Mike P in this battle, though. Have you seen Bankhead's other battles on Cartel? Yeah, I have. But I, 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 I'm, a, I'm the type that what have you done for me lately? Understandable. I get it. <laughs> Look at me, like fuck that shit. But I get it. You wanted those. That's all right. <laughs> all right. So let's move on over to the next battle. We got. Fonz versus Catboy Hurts. I'm going with Fonz on this one. I like. I mean, I like Catboy Hurts. I like what he do. I actually battled him. You get what I'm saying? So I know he get busy. He, he do get busy, but Fonz is a different type of nigga. Every time I try to count Fonz out, Fonz just show me like, nah. Like you would think this nigga run out of punchlines and get a little boring. He don't get boring. You get what I'm saying? Like. When he punch, it's exciting. You feel me? Like, and I think this is gonna be a level up battle for Catboy Hurt. I think Fawn's gonna teach Catboy Hurt a few things in that cage. And it's gonna make Catboy Hurt level up. You get what I'm saying? But I'm going with Fawn's for this one, man. Fawn's two one, man. But I will say this, Catboy is another person that's loved out there in the middle. He done put his work out there. So he's gonna have the crowd. Fawn's gonna have to work hard for it. But if he get them, he's gonna be good. Yeah, Fonz um go punch his lights out. I got, I got <laughs> Fonz thirty. You know what I'm wow. saying? Like Catboy hurt cool, but Fonz thirty man, he is too much. It's too much. It's gonna be too many punches. And in that yeah. cage, if 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 you flowing with them punches, like you gonna have the crowd, and it's gonna be, you know, an easy dub. Yeah. Um. I'm taking Fonz also. So this is the first time we actually we all finally agree. Agree. Uh, finally, all of us agreed on the battle. I'm taking Fonz. Fonz, Fonz is having an underrated year. You know, you you seen uh, what he did against um, Jay Mills. He had the battle against um, he had a battle against Jay Mills. He had a battle against Bad News. Like he he's having a very underrated year. And I think Fonz is one of the guys that you don't want to battle. And um, I'm taking Fonz in this battle. Yeah, Fonz get busy. I can't wait to battle that nigga. That's somebody I would want to battle because I know studying for him, that should have made me level up the way he right. So shout out to Fonz. See you Sunday, nigga. Okay, let's go to one of my favorite battles of this weekend. Danger, Danger Zone and C3. I'm going with Danger Zone 3-0. She gonna cook that bitch, you know what I mean? You know, she she just can't fuck with that nigga. I don't think she can fuck with that nigga, but we gonna see what's up. You know, C3 get busy when she needs to, but I'm just saying, I'm saying Danger Zone 3-0. That's my, that's my prediction. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, y'all, I'm drinking, but still, yeah, that's my prediction. 
I mean, I, I know we got C3 on the show, but I, I got C3 in this battle. I just think, you know, she got more charisma than Danger Zone. He, he low key kind of be born. Did sometimes. you see the discussion from Kia? You see what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> he low key boring sometimes, so like wow, like, boring. He, oh yeah, he he definitely one of the ones that be boring sometimes. Sometimes he sometimes he be he be fired, but sometimes I be like he doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like I like lyricism with everybody else, but sometimes you know you don't gotta do that. But yeah, I got C three two one. Look, man, anybody. Boy. But I'm trying Look, to shut up. I don't want to give away my material. But yeah. Look, anybody that knows me, if you know how I pick a Danny Myers battle, then you're gonna know how I pick a C three battle. Gang gang. I've told I've told people this many times. I said I don't care who C three is battling. I'm picking C three. It doesn't matter. You can call me bias all you want, but that's how I roll, man. Unless game, if it's game. Danny, Finish. unless if it's Danny battling C three, then yeah, you, you might have to give just shut up. <laughs> but shut no, up. but all joking aside, with, with this battle though, Danger Zone, he, he just hasn't been outside too much for me. Um, he's he's definitely a vet. Um, you know he you know he has his wordplay. He definitely can punch. Um, I think he he definitely has good lyricism. But I think there's just something missing in Danger Danger Zone's arsenal, like Q's mentioned. That's why Q thinks he's boring. Um, like he just doesn't have that. I don't know. He doesn't have a, that secret weapon. You know. You know how everybody has a secret weapon that they use, like the Twerks, the Dannys. You know, C three has her own, but he just doesn't have that man. And um and I just feel like Danger Zone is just too one dimensional to me. Like when you look at C three, she's like a complete battle rapper. Like she could beat you with punching, she could beat you with angling, she could out rap you. Um, so I I mean I I just like C three in this battle though, man. I think I think this is this is he this is huge for C three more than it's for. A danger zone because obviously C3, she there's other battles that she, I would like her to see her battle that um people would want her to see. You know, she wins this battle, man, on a big event like this. People's gonna be like, okay, maybe I do need to see C3 outside. Right, I agree. C3, <laughs> C3 do, if C3 do good this battle, I do because you know, but C3 then, ain't been battling all year. C3 been but chilling. Then the, so. But then again, when was the last time the C three did bad though? <laughs> right. That's another thing. C three get busy, man. I mean, she do her thing, you know. But you know, shout out to Danger Zone. I got Danger Zone this battle. You know, shout out to C three. Hopefully, she do her thing. She show up, do what she got to do, man. But she got a good track record. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Um... Oh, but wait, too though. But honestly, though, me and Danger Zone both too got experience on this cartel stage too. Me and him are both really both technically cartel you get what i'm saying like we both been to cartel plenty of times and battled over there so this is kind of like well me more so coming back because he battled on there recently i think about a year ago but i'm coming back so it's kind of like all right well who outside mm -hmm. of here is really cartel so it's that yo, yo c3 i got a question for you before we get to the next battle so with you 40 and vixen you know the only females being on the card do you feel pressure on you to like outdo everybody no because if you do the history when i battled a lot of zay on the black ice card 40 versus cortez was on there mm. that's how me and 40 became friends so this is kind of like you know full circle type shit so it made me it, matter of fact it was vixen was on the card too it was me 40 vixen and i think maybe like uh jada ray might have been on the card too so it was it's full circle so i'm happy to see those names because it make it feel like damn it's kind of like my first time there we was on the card and now i'm coming back and we're on the card so it makes it extra special and, for me and 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 another thing is you know uh, a lot of the attention is on 40 and vixen do, do you feel like you you gotta outperform them 
No, not at all. Because you know that's a that's a female battle that people want to see. You get what I'm saying? So I don't even. I'm not even comparing my battle to theirs. You get what I'm saying? That that's a battle of this magnitude on its own. You know. So I wouldn't even want to take away from what that battle is. You get what I'm saying? So I don't feel pressure. Me and Danger Zone is a whole other situation. That's a female battle rap battle that could be a staple if they both come and put on. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm team female battle rap before anything. So with that being said, I'm not in competition with that battle. Hell no. I want to see that battle. I want to battle before they battle so I can watch that battle like a fucking thing with my drink in my hand. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm excited for that shit. Well, with that being said, we're going to go straight to that battle. 40 I ain't bars. You <laughs> always do that. What do we, uh, yep. <laughs> okay, 40 bars versus Vix and the I Assassin. The What's up, one. man? What's up? All right, man. This, I mean, everybody want to see this battle, man. I, I think it's going to be a fire battle. But um, I got to go with Vixen, man. I got to oh. go with Vixen. She, oh. she coming off that nitty. She coming off that oh. nitty oh. win. She coming off that nitty dub. Oh, oh. Shout out to both of them. They both did good at um, I mean, 40 just did good at prom. And then uh she just got busy at the shit. And then 40 did good versus Twerk too, if I remember clearly. So yeah. Shout out to them. They hey, both they, coming hey, off. Did beat 40? Hmm? Yeah, Av did beat 40. That's what the, the judges chose Av, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 cute. <laughs> Ab, no, but C three. If you one thing about Q, nobody reps Ab harder than Q does. Nah, I'm from VA, yeah, bro. that's my boy. Yeah, if I do um, a, like two on two with a guy, I would do it with Ab, man. Third oh, ad, that man. would be okay. fine. Oh my, yeah. All right, all right, C three. Since you don't want to pick a winner, <laughs> give you give your analysis on you know both of these <laughs> battle rappers and the battle itself. Well, we already know 40, like, pins is, is crazy. That's her strongest point. So 40 already going to come with that heat for her. Them angles, them, the witty lines, she going to come with that. And I think probably Vixen Strams is she got the witty lines too, but she also got that aggression, that performance. She kind of get everybody hyped. She's screaming. She's walking around you. That shit going to get crazy. But we can't act like 40 can't do that too. 40 used to do that back in the day. If y'all rewind to like 40 versus Farrah, those days type shit, 40. You get what I'm saying? Now I feel like she's a little bit older, so she be chilling, but we can't act like she can't get in that bag. So I think they both kind of favor where the other one lacks. And I think it's just going to be up to who just prepared more and who was who on point that day. It could go either way. But judging from how 40 did in her last battle and judging from how Vixen did in her last battle, I, I think it's going to be fire. And and uh, honestly, as the females, we go harder on each other. Fuck that. We might slide everywhere else. Yeah. This bitch ain't gonna beat me though. So this I already know battle, they about to get crazy on each other. This battle has woman of the year implications on the line right now. Um, you seen what Vixen did this year. She had a dope battle against official. A lot of people said it was debatable. Um, a lot of people said that Vixen had a um uh you know, career breaking performance against Rum Nitty. Um and and um and then uh 40, she you know, she's campaigning this Wody run that she's doing. You know, she beat flames. You could say what happened on the King of the Dog event with, with between her and Sharon. And then you know her, the her next two that she had was she had Av and she had Twerk. Um, and you can say whatever you want to say on that battle, but you know, she um, she she has been doing her thing though, man. She did her job, I can't, I can't, I can't knock that. Um, and uh, you know, a lot of people in the culture they said they want to see you know the those main female battles uh, right now, and Vixen and 40 is one of them battles, man. And I think the winner of this battle can jump in this Wody race. Um, and make a good, um, you know, make a good case for themselves in this battle. I, I, I think this is going to be tough for uh, this is this is going to be a good battle, though, man. A lot of people have questioned when it comes to 40, though, like, 
you know, if she's gonna choke, if she's gonna come clean. She's she not gonna play with Vixen. I'm telling you, yeah. hard, like like you said, this is one of them ones when it comes to female battles. She's not gonna play she's not gonna play with Vixen, bro. Yeah, lately this, she's this been doing good happen. though. Lately she hasn't been playing around though, because uh, Forty did state that she did say that this will be her last year as far as like, you know, battle rapping wise. I think she'll probably take battles only if it's worth it. Um, but as far as this battle goes, man, I got to go with Vixen, though, man. I like Vixen in this battle. Um, this home field advantage is going to be very huge for Vixen because she's going to be at home. When was the last time Vixen actually had a home game? <laughs> so um, I'm pretty sure Vixen is going to be Yeah, that was some years ago, I think. It was a few hyped, years ago. And her name is bigger now, so... I think she's going to be hyped and amped for this one. And, you know, and, and it's against 40 at the end of the day. So I, I like for I like Vixen in this battle. I'm going to say 2-1. I think I don't think it's going to be clear. I think it's going to be a debatable battle. It's definitely one of them ones, man. I'm going to okay. be there with my cup. Okay, so I forgot there was one battle I missed. So I apologize for that. We got Killer B versus Rum Nitty. This is a fire battle too, man. Come on, um, man. I'm taking Rum Nitty. I already know you're taking Rum Nitty because you, you, you never seen Killer B perform in Milwaukee, though. You never been to Milwaukee and seen Killer B and him and his brother. You never seen the 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 way they work the crowd in their hood, bro. That's why I'm looking at these battles like that, nigga. I'm partially from Milwaukee. I'm cartel, man. Like I've been there. I seen it. So who you got then? Okay, fine. Who you got? I got Rum Nitty, but I'm staying though. Don't just okay. count. Don't just count him out like it's just gonna be easy. You get what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Man. Don't just like, okay. I, got I, I got Rum Nitty two one, but I, it could go two one either way. It depends on how serious Rum Nitty takes this battle, honestly. It yeah, I think I think this is gonna be a good battle. I think yeah. um because because people say how the court don't know yes, yeah. Courtney said, oh. <laughs> "Sorry, oh, hey Courtney." <laughs> Kyo said, "Oh, hey Courtney." <laughs> I didn't even recognize you. <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah, Killer B, he nice. People might not know who he is, but you know what I'm saying. Like he, he nice, and and Rum Nitty, if he come in there playing, I mean, I got I got Killer B getting around. You know what I'm saying? Two one. So, in other words, you got Rum Nitty in this battle. Yeah, I mean, rum, rum nice, bro. We we ain't gonna do that, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, rum nice. All right, man. Yeah, it really go. come up to how serious rum take this shit. If rum come in there like rum that's trying to kill some shit, it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long night. But if rum come in playing and not really knowing who this nigga is in Milwaukee and how he get busy on that stage, when you get what I'm saying, then it might be it could easily turn. So you get what I'm saying. That's why I said what I said. But yeah. Okay. Let's go to the main event. We got Hollow the Don versus A Ward. Queens, nigga, fuck that. Hollow. And that's only because I got to pick, man. Y'all going to make me pick. If I say I don't want to pick, he'll be like, oh, man. <laughs> so I'm going with Queens all the way. And Hollow just more polished. This is a this battle is going to be another lesson. That seemed to be the theme of these battles. Yeah, uh, a boy, you can freestyle, but like, come on, this is one of the niggas that been doing it, doing it. You get what I'm saying? Pause, that's a little freaky. Pause on that one, but yeah, this is one of the niggas that been doing it for a while. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think Hollow got something to prove after that ad battle. A lot of people saying he lost that, so I think he's gonna want to turn up this time. So, yeah, I'm going with Hollow on this one. Yeah, I got um, I got a ward in this one, man. I got a ward um, mm. two one. I mean, hollow man, he he ain't been good in a while, man. Don't disrespect Queens, man. <laughs> I, Queens, I mean, man. Uh, <laughs> I mean, hollow ain't <laughs> he ain't been it for a while, but I mean. I, I think it's gonna be a good battle. I don't got Hollow getting thirty to, you know what I'm saying. I got A War two one, you know what I'm saying. I just think A War better right now. That's, I mean, that's that's just my assessment. I, 
I think this battle is actually more important to A Ward than it is to Hollow. Well, duh. Um, and A Ward, you know, he he's trying to kill shit when he's battling these guys. Like you, you seen like the big battles he had, like with the, you know, with the Rum Nitties, the Geechee Gotties, uh, guys like that. And um, he he always puts you know A one great performances. And you right, Q. Hollow has not been, you know, the hollow that I'm I'm accustomed to seeing. Last time we seen hollow was against Av. A lot of people wanted to turn that damn battle off because of that. Um Really? And- you think that it was bad? I don't think it was bad. Dude, I Av- like that battle. I thought Av was I thought Av was better, yeah, but I thought it was a good battle. You just wanted to turn it off. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like man, I, I'm I'm taking a ward in this, but I think this will be a better hollow though. But just and it's gonna be interesting though, because both of these guys could rebuttal and both of them can freestyle. So I, I, I think I think it's gonna definitely be interesting though. So and hear me out though, versus a person like Ad, Hollow only has so many angles he could take. A ward is. Um, no offense to anybody, A Ward is white. A Ward is a A Ward is a Christian. Mm. A Ward is uh, A Ward don't curse. Never been in blah 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 whatever a square whatever we want to call it. Babe, you can't be on your phone in the background. Okay. Um, and A Ward is from where? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Hollow. That's a city. Exactly. So <laughs> those is mad angles for a guy like Hollow. Really think about it right there. So that's all I'm gonna say, and then we'll see what happens on Sunday. But that's all I'm gonna say. He got way more things to attack with A Ward as far as what he would have to attack with Ad. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, so you got a hollow. All right, yes, I got hollow. Hey, hollow can get in that freestyle bag too. Hey, that's you know? what I'm saying. Yeah, he can get in that freestyle bag too. That's what I'm looking forward to most in this battle. That's the first thing I I love I'm like, oh. Both these niggas about to be in their freestyle. Okay. You had a freestyle right. just now, Keo. I heard you. What you loaded? No, nah, no. Nah, <laughs> I, I was gonna say what Avert said. He was like, "I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna load it up like it's the old hollow." I like when he says that, man. <laughs> yeah, that's hollow shit, man. Um, all right. So, performance of the night. Who you guys got? Me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I keep talking about now. I can be biased. Yeah, me. <laughs> nah, but yeah, if I'm I had a... to bet on people, sorry guys, go ahead, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, you go ahead, you go ahead. If I had to bet on people, I would say probably Vixen, A Ward or Hollow. I already know they they coming to get crazy. Um, yeah, that's who I would think. And oh. yeah, that's about it right now. But. I'm gonna go with J- JC, man. JC, he always, you know what I'm saying, have a performance, man. You know, in that cage, he's gonna be fired. I'm going. Oh to yeah, them damn brothers too. Of uh, the ones, uh, Showstopper and Killer B, they they gonna they gonna wreck the shit. Oh I'm damn, A Ward. They every time. A Ward, I like A Ward in performance of the night. All right, let's go to the battle of the night. Who will be the battle of the night? Me, nigga, what are you talking about me? <laughs> Other than me, I'm gonna give it to Holloway Award. Forty and Vix. Okay. Uh well, I guess we're gonna go different then. Um I'm going bankhead and Mike P. Oh. Mm. <laughs> All right, so that's our official predictions uh for Black Ice Cartel, The Cage, No Order, goes down this Sunday, available on Rap Grid. Shout out to Ruin Your Day for shooting it and all the sponsors involved in this uh, for this event, man. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, See y'all soon, man. I can't wait to, man. I'm excited.